and gentlemen, welcome back to Movie Mania. Wow. I'm Matt Snyder. And I'm Tony Labiotis, and we've got something real special for you this week. Oh, we'll double back, Tony. All right, well, we both just got back from seeing Back to the Future. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Movies about 17-year-old Marty the Fly. And his pedophile best friend, Doc Brown, because, you know, it's an older gentleman with a best friend as a little boy. He's not boy. a pedophile. And when they're hugging, uh, Doc Brown has a little awkward smile. Of course, Matt so would notice that. So you can infer what you want. And you obviously did. I did. So tell us about the plot, Tony. So Doc Brown is an inventor, and he yes. invents a time machine, Ooh. which sends Marty back in time 30 years. Ouch. From present day 1985 to 1955. Yeah, and I don't want to ruin the movie, but let me tell you so my don't. favorite scene. Okay. And it's right at the end, when uh, Marty McFly is witnessing his dad save his future wife from being quote-unquote raped by the bully. Suggest to everyone, and if you're ever bullied in life, punch a bully because you will live to see a better life because of it. I think my favorite scene's got to be right after that. You know, everyone's having a good time at the dance. Marty's on stage. He's rocking out with his guitar. And your vest. Actually, you can confuse me for Marty. Well, you know, what can I say? The guy's got impeccable fashion sense. Hmm, I wouldn't say that, but... I sure would, and I just did. Congrats. Uh, everyone's having a great time. Perfect way to end the movie. You know who wasn't having a great time? Who wasn't having me. a great time? Me! Because I kept thinking, you know, this is a time travel movie. I expect more time traveling than just one 30-year journey jump 30 years backwards. You know, I hear time travel, I want to see dinosaurs, I want to see space invading aliens. I don't think it was a time travel movie, I think it oh, was what just was it, about, professor? about the uh, the juxtaposition of two different decades. So oh, I don't know. Juxtaposition, Mr. Highfalutin over here. Uh, highfalutin? Well, darn I, you know, if you want to go do a case study on different generations, uh, leave me out of it. If you I'm... want Marty to go eat lunch with Fred Flintstone in the next movie, have at it. Sign me up for that! I think that the only issue I had with the movie was, um, Doc Brown looks exactly the same in 1955 as he does in 1985. Oh, get over it. Cool 30 years from now, I'm gonna look exactly the same way, so... Uh, well, I think we both might look exactly right. the same well, way. Well, well, stay tuned for that. Right now, we're going to a quick commercial break because somebody's gotta pay for this. It don't come cheap. I love the great taste of Pepsi. Who doesn't, Tony? Who doesn't? But I am so tired of the caffeine keeping me up at night. You know what I'm so tired of? What are you tired of, Matt? Your constant complaining. Ah, you're never happy. Ouch. Well, finally, I might have a solution for both of our problems, and it's called Pepsi Free. Pepsi Free? Tell yeah, us about it. I will, if you shut up. Okay. Pepsi Free is a Pepsi, that great taste of the soda you love, but free of that caffeine that you loathe. That sounds too good to be true. I've oh, got to try it just something. might be, but you're going to try it and tell us if you like it. What's the verdict on that? I don't just like it. What? I love it. That sounds like an endorsement to me from Tony. It's supposed to be. What did this movie mean to you? What's the moral? I think the moral of this movie was um, that no matter what the action is, how big or small, everything that you do has a significant impact wow. on your future. Really? Sounds obvious. You know, time travel is a bit headache, headache inducing, so it made me realize, you know what, don't, know. don't regret the past, don't think about the future, just live in the now, enjoy these moments, the precious few moments you have right Matt, now. Matt, fortune cookie Schneider. Yeah, got my the... Did you see my birth certificate? I, who has Give it? it back! I'm giving it an 84 out of 100. Whoa! I'm giving it an 80. Uh, when there's a big movie out, you can be sure the movie maniacs are on it, because we are maniacs for the movies. Good night, everybody.